Um, congratulations on this. You scared the crap out of me. So <laughs> you've done your job. Um, really, like, I, I don't even know the challenges the two of you must have faced when, you know, when you sat down and you started writing the script and you didn't have enough pages and you're like, okay, and then we're going to do this in one continuous shot. Like, what were you thinking? Yeah, <laughs> it's a good question. Um, I, actually, that's that's what the exciting part was. You know, it, the, it's it's really boring as a filmmaker to just do something you've seen before, and the odds are it's already been done better, not just before, but even you know, and to take on something that's completely different. And no one, what was fun about this is no one really knew how to do it. Like usually a crew comes, everyone has a set of rules how to make a movie. We had to reinvent the wheel on this, and it was just really fun. So it was scary and challenging, but it was it was a good time too. Well, and of course, you know, you have to have somebody in the lead that you know is going to carry this off. And how on earth? I mean, I think Elizabeth is an amazing actress. We've seen her in a few things, and but how do you know that she's going to be able to carry this from beginning to end and do what you you know you want to see up there? Well, you know, she had the training, having gone to Russian study theater. We knew we needed somebody who had theater training because you know the incredibly long takes and the need to be able to concentrate and have the stamina and then just her quality her 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 depth her fragility her her the, uh, the emotion that she could bring and we saw that in her her audition yeah and what did you make her do in the audition to see that we had to run around the city but now <laughs> <laughs> basically you know we wrote we actually wrote just we wrote some sides that had nothing to do with the, with the actual script okay. and we were just looking for we were looking just for that quality for that that ability to to convey her her fear and her confusion and um, and 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 also that somebody that you felt that you wanted to um, care about so that's yeah. what we were looking for yeah really amazing job that she did there now I can't even imagine how many false starts did you have making this film like what did you were you were like 78 minutes in and then somebody sticks their hand in front of the camera I mean seriously what happened well it's not it's not <laughs> one 70 or 88 minute it's made up of several several very long rolling shots yep. but it was a real nail biter because you would you have this fantastic performance going on on screen and amazing choreography and everything's falling into place and and someone's looking at the watch and we're like you know we're we're almost at home run and what the hand goes in the frame or someone knocks something over back to one again and that was a, a way of life a daily way of life it, we, we know we're not going to get near the shot for the first 15 14 15 maybe when you get to the 20s um and yet you never knew when it was going to be the one and lizzie brought it every time she maintained that emotional state and, and it was you know it was very challenging but it was so exciting too so exhilarating Amazing that she had enough fluids in her body to keep continuously yeah. crying and snot running down. I, I think she ran out. <laughs> <laughs> to keep replenishing. Yeah. She, she, did, she did run out. <laughs> okay, now we've all had movies that when we were watching, uh, whether we were kids or teenagers or whatever, that some horror film that we saw that the image continuously sticks in her head. Was there something that you saw when you growing up that still freaks you out? You know what? When when my sister and I were little, our grandmother dropped us off at the movie theater to see a movie called Burnt Offerings, and it was it scared the hell out of us. We were little, and I still remember like this creepy guy in like this hearse, and it's it's something I still remember to this day. And quickly, you? Uh, it's, it's, it's such a boring answer because Jaws is the, the movie that was always. It blew my mind and influenced me the most. Well, that was a that definitive was a film, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, congratulations. You've done your job on this. This is one scary film, and uh, I hope keep them coming. Thank, Thank you. you very much. You're welcome. Nice to talk to you.